The degree of unsaturation formula is there to help you figure out how many pi bonds and rings are inside of a molecule. A one double bond will contribute one unsaturation because it's one place where, for example, you could break open the double bond, the two carbons would still be connected by a single bond and you could add in some extra H's or something. A triple bond counts as two unsaturations and a ring also counts as an unsaturation because you could, in theory, break the ring apart along one of the bonds, turn it into a straight chain and add an H to either of those as well. But what you want to know is how does the formula work? Now the formula that your teacher gave you might have had 2C plus 2 plus N minus X minus H and then all divided by 2. I've just tried to simplify the formula a little bit here they're the same formula. Your job is to plug in the number of carbons to where C goes, plug in the number of nitrogens where N goes, the number of halogens, that's fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine, in for X, and hydrogens, the number of them, goes there for H. Let's try this just once. Well, actually, let's try five times. Here, I'm going to do it for C3H8, which is a saturated alkane. We have the degree of unsaturation is how many carbons? Three plus one. There's no nitrogens, there's no halogens, and we are going to subtract the number of hydrogens divided by two. Three plus one is four minus eight over two, which is also four, gives you a degree of unsaturation of zero. And if you look at the molecular structure, there are no double bonds or triple bonds, or rings in that molecule. Now, benzene is another story. Benzene, we sometimes consider to have three double bonds and a ring. I would expect the degree of unsaturation here to be four. That's one, two, three double bonds and a ring. Let's see if the formula bores that out. The degree of unsaturation here is number of carbons plus one. There's actually no nitrogens here, no halogens, and there are hydrogens, so I'm going to subtract number of hydrogens over 2. 6 plus 1 is 7, minus 3 gives you 4. Ah, 4 unsaturations. 1, 2, 3 double bonds, and an extra one for the ring. Now, just to emphasize how well this formula works, I'd like to do it for these molecules, N2, N2H2, and N2H4 from the nitrogen atom all the way to hydrazine. Uh, I actually don't know which of these is hydrazine, but I drew the molecular structures for you. Now there are no carbons here, so I can replace that one with zero. And I have the one, that's part of constant in the formula. Then I'm going to add the number of nitrogens divided by two. Well, there are two of them. And uh, I have no halogens or hydrogens here, so this is it for the formula. That's one plus one, that's two. A triple bond contributes two to the degree of unsaturation. Let's do it again for N2H2. We have no carbons. We do have this one. We're going to add number of nitrogens divided by two. No halogens. And we do have some hydrogens this time. We have two of them. So I have one plus one minus an extra one. This has a degree of unsaturation of one because there's one double bond. And we're lastly going to do it again for N2H4. No carbons. One. Two nitrogens. No halogens. And this time we have four hydrogens. One plus one minus two. This has a degree of unsaturation of zero because there are no double bonds or triple bonds or rings. Ah, the formula works. It's a beautiful thing. Just like you are, my friends. Best of luck.